Go to w.gg and use code NOCHOICEGV for 10% off any order. No artificial colors, no fillers, zero calories, and zero sugar. Use code NOCHOICEGV, that's N-O-C-H-O-I-C-E-G-V, at checkout for 10% off. Thank you, W, for sponsoring this video. <laughs> and now that you're sitting next to me, I can hit you easier. <laughs> and now that I'm here with my munitions... <laughs> I'm on your I'm Jesus. I'm Duke. Now hey. that you're sitting next to me, I can kiss you. Oh. <laughs> no, God, no. And today we're back with another episode of 999. We had the most slowest awful. and most awful escape from a locked freezer that I've ever seen. A man was freezing to death, and we were literally just like, "Oh, what's the genetic? Fr what's the what's the freezing Celsius temperature of whatever what, it was? What's the freezing sublimation of?" Glycerin. Gly glycerin. 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 Alright, but now I'm we made it between out. between two men. I could kiss. Lotus literally <laughs> had no... <laughs> and Lotus literally did not care that we died. Alright, to the oven. Burn our hands. Jumpy. You could probably heat stuff up on there, you know. Cook the pork! <laughs> Cook the pork! The grill's all fired up now. Might be able to do fast food and stuff like that. Okay. Item... Pork! <laughs> Combine. Combine! With knife! Knife! To create... Chop the clothes and knives! <laughs> Get... Guess I'll put my meat on the grill. <laughs> Wait, what happened to the chicken? We used it! So it's just not there anymore? Yes. <laughs> we just don't have it We smashed it to bits. Hi, Lotus. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you going to do with the paper burns? Come on, it'll be fine. Man. I mean, it's not like it's gonna burn right away, right? It's frozen. We just gotta keep an eye on it, and the paper will be fine. Well, they can argue all they want. Oh. That's not me talking. As Junpei starts. Well, they can argue all they want. I'm gonna keep an eye on this pork. That's cooked now. <laughs> cool. Looks like it's about time. Oh, I can't believe I'm gonna try taking the paper out. Time to commit cannibalism. <laughs> Jumpy, be careful. Sweet of her to care, but I know what I'm... Yes. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> See? I told you. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Hurry up and take the paper out. It's not coming out. Take the meat off the thing. The thing's frozen stiff. I can't get it out. So we gonna have to cut the meat? <laughs> yeah, it looks that way. Nothing like the cheese. Cut it. Knife? Knife. Oh my god, wait. Knife. Wait, hold on. Wait, don't, don't click anything. If I'm gonna get it out, I need to cut it. How dare you? There, and then back, and Stop then there. Stop clicking buttons. We're working together. You gotta cut open the meat to get the paper. I'm gonna shoot you. I should be able to use this knife to cut it. Uh, it's not working. Oh, shit! This knife is too dull. No! Well, that's probably because it's all messy. <clears throat> if we had something you could sharpen the knife with. Your head. We gotta go back. We gotta go back. Hey, don't touch me, motherfucker. Uh, I'll stop broken. looking around. I'm I'll trying, man. <clears throat> cut it up. <clears throat> There's no one can and calendar here. <laughs> the way he just rested you down and is just like, I'm talking now. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing useful. Damn it. The okay. underneath? Let me try this. We don't have the no. card. Okay. I got this. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll figure this out. What kind of idiot are you? You're gonna go you're gonna bleh, you're gonna run around holding that thing while you're I'm doing it also looking for the dead? Why are you looking for the dead? <laughs> Hey, man, it was just a joke. <clears throat> Why are you so serious? <laughs> a trash can. There's nothing inside of it. Well, better than, full, better than being full of rotten food, I suppose. What about the table at the what top? What about the one next to it? Oh. Damn it. There's nothing in here. I'm talking a lot anytime you interact with anything. <laughs> hey, Santa, digging through the trash really suits you. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> I'll literally buy you off the corner. <laughs> What's your rate? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, lady, I did you a favor. I knew you'd just piss and moan, so I did it for you. Oh, my. I don't recall asking you to do anything. <laughs> Arg. Arg. I ought to shoot you. Throttle you. <laughs> and, but instead, I'll just... Squeeze me. <laughs> but I'll just throttle my dick over here. <laughs> uh. Uh. How uh, does? No, that's not how. Does 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 it feel Holes. colder in here? 
Holes dip. Holes. Check Holes the sink. The sink in front of us. What's that? Plate. Move the plate. <gasps> oh, a, a charcuterie board. <laughs> a sink. It's still got water in it. There's a couple of plates in there, but I don't think they're going to help us much. The thing on the left. Oh my god. That's the sharpener. Oh, what stone? Combine. And with the knife. And that's a combine. Maybe I'll use the whetstone to sharpen the knife. You know? <laughs> chick, 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 chick. The blade of the knife getting sharper by the second. Should be able I to cut something. I should be able to cut something pretty good with this. <laughs> it's <laughs> my thoughts, not yours. But Junpei literally has three people inside thinking for three. Uh, now back to the pork. Pork. Don't you like this part, Jitsu, where we're cooking pork? Oh, no. right. Now that I've sharpened the knife. Yes, I cut the pork. I cut the pork. <laughs> awesome, Junpei. Now we can cut out the rest of your guts. I mean, the paper. Because it's you. C plus 10 plus F. Oh, right. Now I got an idea. Wait, go back to the pork. <laughs> Let me try something. You reaching for your pocky? No. I got a gun in my pocket. Wait, what number was... Oh, <laughs> he does. It's, it's orange and non-threatening. Pork <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Jitsu, look at that. It's called pork note. Gross. It's C plus 10 plus F. Wrinkly paper. Uh. I give you an F for failure. Look at it go. Okay, so what was that whole C plus 10? Oh. You need some kind of code? Damn it. They're just screwing around. Junpei, do you know what C and F stand for? Maybe it's corporate finance. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh huh. Huh? I thought it was clever and funny. <laughs> <clears throat> no, it was that. It was the thing where it's C. like the, the letters mean something. Where it was remember like right. A, A equals something. B I'll slide the paper in. No. <laughs> Got an idea? What? Trust me. What? Trust me. What? C. Probably you're supposed to use your enter the pass. Maybe we put in the right number, it'll open the oven door. Yeah. Junpei, maybe the note you found earlier. Yeah, I know. No, you know how to enter these numbers? I Do hate you. that cutoff. I hate that cutoff. It just freezes my brain. No. I think E is for enter and C is for clearing. Yes. So basically, when I'm ready to submit my answer, I press E. So if I screw up, so basically... I just press C, right? Oh, that was, that was <laughs> Lotus nodded. I advise you oh, to right. get clicking give it because, a shot. because I'm also clicking with I my know. double click. <laughs> you stupid idiot. It should work. What do you mean? It's C I plus it. 10 plus F. Nah, we got this. We need to figure out what the C of that little, you know, that weird code thing that they were talking about, that A equals a number. B equals a number, C yeah. equals a number. We need to figure that out. Go back. What is F? A, B, C, D, E, F. Perfect. There's only three spaces. Damn. You saw that the zero got replaced by the six. Yeah. Oh, we're setting a temperature! Burns alive. <laughs> nine nine. Wait, please, please do nine nine nine. <laughs> Open. Go back. Everything just burns. Go back. Wait, hold on. Huh? This is weird. Hey, you're just punching in random numbers, aren't you? Yes. Maybe you're just entering like it said in the Hint. note. Ah, shut up. <laughs> just shut up. Do three plus ten plus six. Three plus ten plus six. Yeah. I press E, and if I screw up, I need to start over. I should press C, right? Let's try this again. Okay. Nineteen. I know. Fuck you. <laughs> no. Wait, they, <laughs> they don't even let you like learn what it is. They just tell you the number. Okay. So, ten. Okay. No, I'm I'm going. Don't enter anything in. I'm okay. gonna quiz you real fast. Yeah. What's six times seven? Forty-two. Plus five. Forty-seven. Minus four. Uh, 
Ooh, 43. Put that in. Why? <laughs> Fucking why? So it seems like we did something. <laughs> Sounds like metal is falling. <laughs> well, I guess that went well. Stop clicking. Because I'm clicking. Because no. <laughs> I'm clicking also. Now open it. Jinzu. Oh. It was 43. 43? Why it was, was 40 it 43? It, it literally just says that it's 43. It, it, examine the keypad and enter 43. That's all it tells us. <laughs> C plus 10 plus F is 43. Yay, the door opened. Click. Good job, Jumpy. Now, key. Oh, Saturn. Saturn. Key card. Yeah, do, 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 take do, it to the do, door. Do. Take it to the door. The door? <laughs> but, Jinzu, what if I said fuck you? <laughs> then you would lose mouse privileges. <laughs> yes. I yes. think it's unlocked now. You did it, Jumpy. Let's get out of here. Yeah. The door. Yeah. Let's go. And I totally didn't get spoiled about what's next. Did you actually spoil yourself? Not really. Found it. You, you found it. Found it. Every, every time it does that, it's, it focuses on the found more than the you. They stepped out of the kitchen and into a hallway that looked rather familiar. It's the other side. A metal grate stretched from wall to wall. Beyond it were two elevators and the entrance to the kitchen. They had entered the kitchen from one door and came out the other. That meant their map of the ship's interior was accurate. They laid the map out in front of them and began to discuss the next, their next step. There! There were four possible routes. Ooh! A, B, C, and D. First, A and B. A and B so both seemed to connect to an L-shaped room. However, the two doors that lead to the room... were both locked and could not be locked. <laughs> I like. I love the little. Ch -ch -ch -ch. I love the illusion of choice. Yeah. See, next was route C. This goes all the way to the main staircase. Uh oh, you looks like you're getting shot. <laughs> that means it's door five, one of the number doors. And do you think we would meet up with the others four after this hallway? No, I don't think we will. Wait a minute. Look! They're by the stairs! See how the gate is opened? <laughs> I remember this time! <laughs> when we went into the kitchen, it was closed! But it's open now! What do you think that means? That it was open? That they opened it? Most likely. <laughs> then, if we take Route C, we're going backwards. That would be pointless. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> then that means... D! All four looked at the map. D for Duke. D, D for, for Dumbass. D for Willow D. Uh, <gasps> they all looked at the staircase. It's lazy, lazy Come curve. aboard and bring along no! all your hopes and dreams. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sagashimono Nagasaki. <laughs> They all look down the staircase. It's lazy curve leading are. down, <laughs> leading down deeper into the ship. Route D then. D it is. That's Santa. Oh. Hey, hey Santa, did you know D it is? Hey Jinzu, D are you, it is. Are you getting too distracted with your enrichment device over there? No. <laughs> yeah, Brandy. And, and we're then all we're set. set. Oh, that's your pick. And the same exact spot in the same. First three letters. They dog down the stairs. They they do jog down the stairs until they reach the sea deck. They dog down the stairs. <laughs> they dimmy dog down the stairs. Yes. Just to be sure, they kept going to check the deck deck beneath. There's a hippin' and a hoppin'. Just hopping. like I thought. There's a pippin' and a poppin'. <laughs> you just rewatched Star Fox. <laughs> deck D is totally underwater. By the way, I know there are multiple enemies ending to this game. Uh, no. <laughs> We're getting... Just the evil ending. Yeah. Of the green villains. Just like the bottom of the central staircase. The water gazed back at them, its smooth surface like a great mirror. As ominous as it was, Junpei took at least some comfort from the fact that the level they had gone up hadn't gone up much since the last time he'd seen it. They turned back to Sea Deck. To cut. It, <laughs> <laughs> it, it didn't take to them long. <laughs> it didn't seem to take them long to find the two elevators in front of the stairs. <laughs> They looked identical to the elevators on the top floor, with one exception. 
These elevators had a card reader on the walls between them. Ah! One card reader with a strange mark. And hey, look, it's Lotus's symbol. Huh? She's. <laughs> it's the <a> symbol. <laughs> what does it mean, bitch? <laughs> Evil see, woman. It's the, oh, see, it's the woman symbol with the thorn on it. <laughs> that seems like... Bonk. Ow, 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 ow. Ch Lotus had taken hold of Junpei's hair. She began to shake him violently, and he thought he heard a low, low growl coming from, coming from her throat. I wish we could see that happening. It totally wouldn't get my rocks rolling. <laughs> they knew. Such violence. <laughs> Junpei began to wonder if she was not the devil itself. With an uncomfortable smile, June spoke up. This is the Mercury symbol. The thorn symbolizes the wings on Hermes' staff. Hermes, herpes, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> if we can't get this thing to work, there's these elevators aren't going anywhere. In other words, we need a key card with the Mercury symbol on it. Wait, what? Why did she start pulling his hair? Because it called it, because it's it's Lotus symbol, the woman symbol, <laughs> the woman with thorns. Hermes or herpes, whatever. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> they gave up on the elevator and returned to the stairs. A hallway stretched out to the left. Huh? A great many doors lined both sides of the hallway. They weren't sure how many, but certainly enough to be discouraged. Seek a way out. <laughs> Damn it, if we try to learn all these things, the sun's gonna go down before we're done. Half of them. Before we've done half of them. I think the sun's already set. I would know. I got everybody uh, here <laughs> <laughs> just before nightfall. I have a feeling the ship is the only thing that's going to be down anytime soon. Ah. That's even worse. Worse. Well, we can come back to this hallway later. <laughs> Let's check the hallway on the other side, shall we? You can't. It's a good thing that no one else can see the mouse. Like the people watching can't see the mouse because you are. Click it, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to. You wanted to go away. All right, fine. <laughs> Frustration and fear building, they walked back to the stairs. To their right was a small hallway. Quickly, they headed into it. It was approximately the same size as the alcove in front of the stairs. The hallway led towards the stern, and at the end of the set was double was a set of double doors. Let's open it. Wow! And Junpei nodded and grabbed one of the grabbed the one closest to him. It was Lotus. <laughs> he gave, <laughs> it was Lotus. He gave it a small, small tug, tug and, and felt, felt it move. move. <laughs> <laughs> it was unlocked. <laughs> Thrilled to have found an unlocked door, he threw it open. <laughs> oh, glitch! Did you see that glitch? I wonder if the recording saw that glitch. I wasn't looking, so Jun I would know. Jinpei didn't know what to make of what he saw. Beds. <laughs> Blood. Time writing. to sleep. Seven. Eight. He simply stood, unable to speak. The others simply stared, open-mouthed. After a few long moments, Santa managed to speak. speak. Well, what the hell is this? What's the, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> What's going on over here? A massive room stretched out in front of them. More of a cavern than a room. Its vastness was oppressive, and it bore down on four companions. Roll for initiative! Room! <laughs> it was not empty, however. The entire room was filled with, line, with lines upon lines of beds. They were simple things. Little more than pipe and thin mattresses. Oh god, those actual mattresses? Ugh. Yeah. Is, is this a hospital? you never seen a prison bed? You know? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't. He had at least been able to put a name to the harsh scent of that, perva that pervaded the room. Able. The room swam with the heart. What? You said he had at least. He had. Able. He had at last been able to put a name to the harsh scent that pervaded the room. The room swam with the harsh, biting smell of the antiseptic. In the center of the room were shelves stacked with medicine and a number of medical devices, the function of which Junpei did not know. Finally, antiseptic. <laughs> we can kill Jacksepticeye. He holds up the syringe. What the heck is this? <laughs> More importantly, however, on the back wall of the room were four doors. Three of them were emblazoned with a large single-digit numbers made from thick lead paint. Yes. Paint. <laughs> the door and on the left... not blood. Not blood. The door on the left was labeled three. The second door from the left had no number, but the third had given a seven. And the rightmost door had an eight. There could be no doubt they were numbered doors. It did not strike Junpei as strange, however, that the door between three and seven should be blank. Nothing weird about that. 
as you just said, it did not strike him, so... Oh, it did. It, weird. it did strike Jupe Strange, however. Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? Could it be? <laughs> this guy can't fucking read. And, and I'm Let's the take na- a look at the doors. And I'm the narrator, so strap in. Yes, that sounds like a good plan. Thank you, Lotus. And uh, Duke's back to it. Jupe headed towards the doors, weaving his way between the beds. Junpei did not head towards the doors. He started with door three on the left and moved to the right until he reached door eight. This guy's counting in German? It's no use! (laughs) Well, of course. We have no choice! If it was the easy way, it was. If it was that easy to open these doors. (laughs) What would be the point of the noonery game? <coughs> we have to activate the red, or the numbered doors won't. Wait a minute. What's wrong? Well, look, the display on the red. There's nothing on it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your input. Don't you remember the red at the central staircase? No one was inside. It said vacant. Ah. Uh. Vacant! Oh, yeah, you're right. But this one. Does it? It's empty. There's, There's nothing, nothing on it. it. That's you. There's nothing on it. Right? I wonder if it's broken. Only one way to find out. Uh, 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 tickle, tickle. Uh. Tickle, tickle. I, I like how the narrator just has the dot, dot, dots every single time everybody touched it. I'm playing with the machine ball. <laughs> it didn't respond. All four took turns placing their hands over the red, but it refused to respond. They pulled at the lever and still did nothing. As they soon discovered, it wasn't the only red for the door, H, that was behaving strangely. The red on door seven also refused to respond. And door three was similarly silent. None of them would respond. They, they were not much talkers. <laughs> 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 what did it mean? Are they just socially awkward? Ha! I knew it. I knew it. They're broken. Zero sure sucks at maintenance. He just gets struck by lightning. No! That's impossible! <laughs> June gets really defensive. No! Zero is very competent! <laughs> you really think Zero, who prepared all of this... Would make such a stupid, simple mistake. Thank you, Lotus. I know you. I can. I, yeah, I, yeah, I, 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 he would. I would. Ne- no, no. He would never do that mistake. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, but that doesn't explain why this thing ain't working. It was at that moment that they heard a voice from behind them. Oh, are they back? Snake. The snake again? You. Me. You. I believe the bottom of the device has been removed. <sighs> they spun around to see. Snake! I hope he's ah. the only one. It turns out they're all dead. No! <laughs> snake! I killed all of them. But it was more than with just snake. With my bare eyes. Ah. I killed a man with this dumb. Ace, Clover, and Seven quickly f- filled into the room. Although they were glad to see one another, it wasn't terribly surprising that they had. Yay! Man, I was hoping one of them would be dead. More people to vote! <laughs> you... If there had been any other party who would open the gate in front of the kitchen, it wasn't unreasonable that they'd bump into the one another eventually. The rest of Snake's team, however, did not did look rather surprised. How? How did you guys? How did you end up here? After a moment of silence and surprise, everyone suddenly began to talk, desperate to exchange information. I got a knife. <laughs> They talked about rooms that they've been through and how they ended up in the same place. Oh, of course... sorry, I don't have the knife anymore. Actually, I used it up on ham. <laughs> oh, of course. None of it was very useful information, but that hard- hardly mattered. They were happy to just simply see one another again. Although it was the level of cheer varied greatly from person to person, each one of them was wearing some manner of smile. Almost as though they had already forgotten about the death of the ninth man. Who cares about that guy? Yeah. <laughs> that guy was an idiot. He blew up. No, thought Jupe. Perhaps that wasn't it. Perhaps thoughts of his death was what drove them to smile at one another. <laughs> Not in a mor- morbid or hateful way, no. The ninth man had died, but they were still alive, and that was something to be happy about. A sort of simple, uncomplicated joy. Junpei thought, the joy of being alive. 
still alive. He felt sorry for the ninth man, but more Do it. than anything, Junpei was just happy to be alive. No, don't act like <laughs> Wait, I regret it. <laughs> We're all gonna die anyway! No, 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 please don't, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it! Don't do it. Hey, anyway. man, I was just gonna kill you. <laughs> whoa, whoa, hey. relax, I'm just gonna shoot you in the head and kill you. <laughs> it destroys the nihilist point of view immediately. Oh, that's so good. Hey, you have it! Our half of the story. His part finished, Ace felt silent. For a moment, Junpei was silent in thought, then he spoke. Okay, we'll see if I've got all this strength. Okay. okay. When you guys got here, you gotta the do Mr. Garrison. The, huh? Mr. Garrison voice for Jim Payne. Okay, when you guys got here, the bass <laughs> the beds were already gone. And you looked over the room, okay. but you couldn't find anything. So you figured you that there the might be something in the hallway with all the little, with all the doors. Oh, yes, me. Hey, Tatcha! You went and had a block. This is literally the point where yeah. everybody. This is the point where everybody's talking. <laughs> I want. I want that. And while you. Oh wait. And while you were around, you heard voices. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. And so you followed the voices and came back here. Indeed. And what? And that was how we found you. Junpei examined the three reds again, just in case. Okay. One. On the bottom of each was a long, thin gap. It looked like a slot for something. Perhaps some, probably something electronic. Well, this isn't good. If the red is inactive, we can't keep going. Well, what about the hallway over there? <laughs> Isn't there anywhere else we could go? Okay. 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 Oh, there isn't. There are plenty more hospital rooms for nothing else. That's Lotus. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? I'll give her the Mr. Garrison voice. What? Oh, wait, you know what's uh? Is that the name of the teacher that they have? That's yeah, the that's Garrison. The, okay. I'm all right. Oh no! I know there's the one with the puppet, uh, the gay guy, and then there's um uh the one with the big head. Okay. Which one's which? What? Which else do you think we want you to do? I, I, I know there's okay, but I want to give the uh, uh, the gay Mr. guys. Mr. Uh, oh, he's loading it what up. What did you say? Hospital rooms. <laughs> Hospital rooms. I just like how that had nothing to do with what he was asking you to do. <laughs> That's what's behind all those doors. Yes, there are a number of individual rooms in addition to this large one. There was a door at the end of the hallway, but it was locked. <laughs> I gotta make her voice different. There was an astrological symbol engraved near the keyhole, however. Mm. I was able to get a good... Ah, <laughs> feel it. <laughs> Why did he moan? Uh, <laughs> give him to me. Hey. <laughs> no, he, that is not how he moans. <laughs> uh, not, I wasn't gonna do it, actually. <laughs> so, hey. <laughs> no, it was fucking. Keep talking, a snake. You got. Oh, I, 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 I believe it was the symbol of Pupiter. Also known as the penis. <laughs> not again. Oh, not again. Those goddamn things are everywhere. It's almost like it's a theme made by a psychopath named Zero. <laughs> I wonder what you. I love Mega Man. For a for a moment, everyone was silent, deep in thought. <sighs> Well, we're asking what you mean. What's do with this room? I would have loved it if you turned to me as if that was like, well, I said it. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, I said it. <laughs> Move on. I mean, I thought this was a cruise ship, but I can't imagine a cruise ship would have a hospital like this. Okay. Of all people, it, it was Seven who answered with a calm confidence. Well, I figure... It's probably a hospital ship. Wow! Chances are, it's the gigantic... Whoa! I'm gonna unload a gun in my head. Here I'm you gonna, go! I'm gonna <laughs> unload all over the ship. <laughs> the gigantic. <laughs> Jumpei looked confused. So okay. did everyone else. What is this gigantic? Seven knit, knit his brows for a moment, then began to explain. 
The Drakiagic is a boat. <laughs> is another word for big. <laughs> He explained that she had been a sister ship to the Titanic, built in the early 20th century. Why couldn't Seven be talking about this? <laughs> the Titanic had two sister ships, who were identical to one another in nearly every aspect. The Gigantic was said to be one of them. The other was the Olympic. She was initially intended to be a passenger liner, like the Titanic. But soon after the ship was launched, the First World War began, and she was pressed into duty by the British Navy as a hospital ship. Hi. <laughs> Some time later, the gigantic was damaged by the German mine in the Aegean Sea. She managed to run aground after that after the incident. Consequently, was not and consequently was not sunk. What then happened to, to the gigantic after her fateful encounter in the Aegean Sea? One theory ran that a man named Lord Gordian purchased her. <laughs> Lord, Lord Gordain. Lord Gordain. It seemed, had been one of the few survivors of the Titanic tragedy. And that trauma had turned him into an obsessive collector of all things related to the Titanic. Like his, like its sister! <laughs> As his obsession deepened, he began to desire the Titanic itself. That, of course, was impossible. The Titanic lay at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. The Gigantic, however, had not suffered a, such a dire fate. And she was identical to her sister ship. And she, she caught Lord Gorda Gordain's eye. Yeah, Duke? <laughs> so you're saying this Lord Gordain bought the ship? Bought the ship? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I read J it. J Jitsu's distracted me with his PQ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at least I think I am. <laughs> <laughs> I will die. That's impossible. No way we're in some boat that's almost a hundred years old. Read it again with more passion, Jinsu! That's impossible! <laughs> There's no way! There's no way! Give Sam an Australian accent. Five down, just why? pay attention. Because he said no way. No way. What? That's it? That's it? I'm ripping your, ripping your dick! Oh, God! I hated that sound. Good. I'm gonna edit out that sound, how much I hate it. <laughs> Add in the sound of me ripping his dick off. What, that's it? Well, have you got any proof? Proof? <laughs> <laughs> proof that this ship is really the gigantic? Well, uh... <laughs> <laughs> this ship... Uh, this ship's got stuff like the Titanic and a hospital ship. I think... Jimmy... I think this ship's got stuff like I the want Titanic. Jimmy's mom. So I just figured. I just figured. Have you killed a man? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever eaten an alpaca? Oh, for goodness, don't tell me that's your only reason. No, I've got more. <laughs> what is this? Like? Oh, they keep talking to each other. Well, <laughs> they, keep, <laughs> they keep talking to each other, and they're both you. <laughs> Oh, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> Seven looked around desperately, doing anything to avoid meeting Lois's piercing stare. He scratched his head for a moment, then gave up. I am not allowed to look at a woman. <laughs> I'm not look at Lois's cheeks. <laughs> Finally, he opened his mouth. <laughs> oh, no! Oh my God! <laughs> Lotus sighed and shook her head. I guess your memory isn't back yet, is it? Oh, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> hey, hey. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank God. A different voice. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Wait a Wait minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> memory isn't back? Jupe was, he felt legitimately shocked by what he seemed to be a new and very important information. Everyone else, however, seemed unimpressed. In fact, they all looked at Junpei as though he had said something very strange. He decided to revise his attitude for the next question. Wait, was I the only one that didn't know? Everyone nodded. The fuck? <laughs> uh, acceptable. Oh yeah, I guess I didn't tell you, huh? I told the rest of them before we ran into you on the stairs. I told him I couldn't remember a damn thing from before I woke up. 
Convenient. What? <laughs> then, almost as if to save Junpei from further embarrassment. Embarrassment? He didn't know! At uh, the tables. A bell began to ring from far away. It sounded as though it was a clock at the main stairwell. Junpei counted each chime carefully. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Nothing. Oh shit. Twelve. Midnight. Oh hell yeah. It's midnight. Do we still have six hours left, right? Oh, you don't have any time to scroll around. We're getting going. We gotta find the missing parts of the roots. Uh, wait, Jinzu, real fast. What should I re-voice Clover as? Clove? To her on the There's right. There's also a... Do you... What's your best Irish accent? Laddie. What's your best Carl Weezer? Okay, I'm not gonna do it. not gonna do Carl Weezer. Do a female... I'm not gonna do Irish... Irish accent. An Irish... What about me, do, you, do a female Irish accent. You're Laddie. fucking... You're fucking... An apt boy. Blah. Let's get the god. I know it's seven talking. I'm just practicing. <laughs> oh, she's gone. Never mind. <laughs> what do you mean, fine? How on earth do you propose we do that? We've looked everywhere in this room. <laughs> How is it always these two talking? <laughs> that only leaves one place to look. One. Well, I guess that's not really right. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, wait. Don't tell me you mean we need to search all the other rooms. Yes. Don't freak out. We already searched four of them. Four rooms. We just have to split out the rest between the eight of us. That's like half the game. <laughs> if each portion does six rooms, that'll be 48 rooms, right? What? Sir, 48 rooms left. <laughs> Her earlier experiences have apparently not encouraged Lotus to trust Seven. Seven scratches head awkwardly. I don't know. Why is his name Seven? I hate it. Cause look, you wanna know why his name is Seven? Cause he's got Seven. Cause he's got Seven. <laughs> After a little more discussion, they split up and headed towards the rooms to begin searching. You wanna know where my rule live is going? Uh, Cause I played this game. No! <laughs> Junpei was chosen to search the rooms on the starboard side, moving. F from fore to aft. They also determined that they would return to report their findings. The next time, the clock sounded the time. When it, when it did, they would meet back in a large central room full of beds. If... Mom. Cookies! <laughs> if, during the search, any one of them... Any one of them were to locate the missing components, <laughs> they were to yell for the others. If... Oh, mine! If this strategy failed, they returned to the discuss their options later. The details decided that they left to begin searching. Out into the hallway they went, each of the rooms they had been assigned. Kyle, However, Wanda, I have a wish. Could you turn Jimmy's mortal enemy into Jimmy's mom? Who's who's perfectly inside this glass jar? <laughs> I've got plans. Enough to make you shiver your spine? Let's see. From far away, Junpei heard a bell ring. Oh, it was Ding, again. ding, dong, dong. It did so only once. It was 1 a.m. We, we were there for an hour. Totally walking. Walking. Door dancing. <laughs> walking. Rearranging furniture. I put... Babs is shopping. He jogged through the, the entrance out of, of the cage. <laughs> he jogged through the entrance of the large hospital room to find six of the others already there. <laughs> Ace, Santa, Santa Clover, Clover, June, Clover, Seven, June and Seven, Seven, Lotus. Why aren't their names in order? And Lotus. What are you talking about? They're not in order. It started with A. <laughs> <laughs> they had gathered in front of the door number eight. Or perhaps, to be accurate, they had gathered in front of the red next to the door number eight. Had one of them found the missing piece? I found Jimmy's mom. Stop. What happened, sis? What happened, guys? It was June who answered him. What the fuck? Jimmy, look! <laughs> I thought that said Dumpy. <laughs> <laughs> she pointed out the Dumpy! Red. Turns around. Honk! Poof, smacks Ace with his ass. <laughs> the sound of my ass cheeks clapping. <laughs> he pushed through the others until he stood in front of it. Ah! 
immediately he knew what she had meant. The display on the front of the red, 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 I wasn't a stutter that time. That was literally actually what I was supposed to read. Junpei is sick head. Junpei's side. Come on, guys. Who was it? Who was spilled the beans? I thought we were supposed to yell if we found it. Where? Junpei wondered why she was hesitant. The others looked as confused as June, but kept their mouths shut. What the hell? What is up with you guys? Why are you guys avidly like being like, man, this guy's an idiot. We're not going to explain anything. <laughs> they all knew something he didn't, and Junpei was a wasn't about to leave things that way. Finally, Lotus frowned and spoke. Well, that's the thing. We don't know. You don't know? You don't know? <laughs> what are you, stupid? When I got back, it was already like this. <laughs> I found it like no this. Here. Of course, Lotus, again, the first one here. That means I was the first one back, but the missing parts were already back in the red. Junpei looked at the bottom of the red again, just to make sure. There! The slot had been opened on the bottom and is now covered with metal. Clearly, whatever had been missing has been returned. What about the other two? They're the same. Junpei quickly examined the other two boxes. Duh, duh, duh. Satisfied that they were also repaired. I hate myself. Why are we running on two brain cells right now? What happened? Yeah, I did. It's literally just looking over at you guys just singing. I'm just like... Do I continue the episode? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the to be continued of One Piece. So I'm just like, does that mean that we're stopping? <laughs> Satisfied that they also repaired, but still very confused, he returned to the others. The end. Thank you, everybody, so much for being <laughs> All right, I just want to be sure here. Well, then we'll finish this part real fast. Yeah. Nobody has any idea what the fuck happened here, right? Ace and June nodded slightly. Seven raised his hands as if to say, Not me! And Santa just shrugged. Only Clover lowered her head and did nothing. Clover! Definitely what he said. <laughs> Wait, no, not Irish. Scottish. Wait a minute! A Scottish voice. Yeah, yeah, I was doing the Scottish, yeah. There was... That was when he noticed. Where's Snake? Snake? Oh, is Snake dead? Snake died off screen? Junpei swept his eyes across the room a second time. But Snake was nowhere to be seen. Why would we leave him alone? <laughs> How did we lose the blind guy? <laughs> Wait a minute. Who let go of his hand? Does that mean he found them? We have no idea. There's something, nothing to suggest he, but something, nothing to suggest he didn't either. I don't suppose we'll know until we ask him in person. Well, whatever he did or didn't do, he pretty damn late. <laughs> what the hell's up to? Maybe he's lost. Yeah, well, that seems likely. Dude can't see. I don't know how he's gonna <laughs> get around in the first place. <laughs> Clover raised her head. No! Oh, wait. If you had a chance to change your fate, would you? No! That's impossible! Give him give her a feminine Scottish accent. That's impossible! If you had the chance to change your fate! If you had the chance to change your fate! If you had the chance to change your fate, would you? Would you? That's impossible! Oh, he's dead. Suddenly she was shouting. Yeah, my brother's blood! <laughs> But he's got to get the great hearing. <laughs> he can't get around us. I know it's not. This, I know I'm just changing it. As well as anybody who can see. I'm going to shoot you. <laughs> so he, he couldn't have gotten lost. That's impossible. Over had started to shake, and the knuckles out of her hands had gone white. She spun around just before she did. Junpei noticed tears welling up in her eyes. <laughs> he's dead. I'm not gonna look for him. The words were barely out of her mouth when she began to run. Hey! Hold on, Clover. No, wait. Don't go. Come back. <laughs> I think that's a good... 
And we're going to be holding no, on and coming back, back waiting for next time. Thank everybody so much for watching. If you liked it, subscribe for more. And we'll catch you next time. Subscribe if you want me to shoot them. No! And by them, I mean Duke and Mayhem. Oh! Don't worry, I'll die anyway. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>